level 64 present. A play toy that video review. Game back and then join the show. Hi, welcome to another Lemon 64 game guide and review. In this week's episode, we'll be checking out Alter Ego, produced by Unimac Inc. and published by Activision in the summer of 1986. This game is a life RPG, and from the title screen, we can either begin a new game or resume a saved game. Let's begin a new game. First thing we can do is enter a name, and it doesn't have to be our name, it can be any name, um, because this game is called Alter Ego, of course we can choose any name that we like. We can go through our own personality test, or we can let the computer make up those stats on its own, and even at this point, the RPG elements come into their own, because we are being asked questions, and they will affect player stats later on. So we don't have to answer these questions truly, in fact it even gives us a first question, will you be answering these truly or not? So we can even lie through these questions and create a completely different ego to the one we currently have. And then after that your character will be born, but let's skip the birthing phase and each phase of one's life will be recorded in this game. And so for this example if we return to the title screen and hit resume you will see a number of saves have been saved to disk and every phase we can save those stats to disk and then resume those at a later date. In this example we'll skip the first four years of our life and skip the baby phase and we'll go straight to childhood which begins at four years old. This game comes on a C64 floppy disk so we'll have to reverse that for this game to load and here we are, welcome to childhood and it gives us a nice quote there at the beginning. In Alter Ego, it's our job to succeed in the path of life and not to die. Yes, just like all the other games that you've ever played, the aim is still not to die, but in this game we have to manoeuvre an Alter Ego around a virtual world, and that virtual world contains virtual questions, and answering those questions correctly will gain progress in this game. You can see I can check out our stats, and those will rise depending on the questions that we've answered, or sometimes fall as well if we get those questions wrong. The main part of the game, you can see, is to traverse the path of life, and that means that clicking on these icons will reveal a question, and the answer to that may be a life or death scenario. Clicking on the heart, that will reveal the first of our emotional questions for this level and these questions are available from a random pool. So there are thousands of questions in this game and that means the adventure will always be different each time it is played and that makes this game even more extra special. In this example we are entering nursery school, kindergarten and we find a potential friend playing in the sand do we actually go over there and make friends? Do we poke fun at that guy? Or do we make a scene and cry and be angry and run away? We can choose our mood first of all. These will be context dependent of course, so in this case it gives us the option to be excited, sad or angry. Well, because this is our first day at school, I'm going to be sad and I'm going to walk over there and try to make friends. But I didn't know how to respond in that condition, and unfortunately that didn't work. So let's try again. Let's try to be excited and walk over and try to be friends. And this case, hopefully, that will turn out. But in this game, one thing leads to another, and sometimes one question leads to another. And in this game, we can even talk and use language to choose the right answer. And sometimes there isn't a right answer, and sometimes they are both right. So let's say hi to this kid and see what that does. And what it has done has given me more sociable points and more life skills. And this game will be analysing our questions and answers at every point. So at the end of each round we'll be analysed and we'll be fed back our progress. So if we can feed our own answers into the game and to be answering as honestly and truthfully as possible, 
Then, because this was designed by a psychology professor, it means we should get something back in return, even if it's only to ponder where we all went wrong. And so this game is very thought-provoking in all the right areas. It will answer all these kinds of psychology questions, and sometimes it can be a catch-22 situation. For example, in this situation, we can either be honest and sit down quietly, or we can tell a lie. We can be defeated or we can be devious. So in this case, I'm not going to tell a lie, I'm going to sit down quietly. And that is yet again giving us some heads up. And it says I wasn't assertive enough because I didn't lie. And so when the dog appears on my lap, I can pet it or kick it. And this is completely against what I would do in real life. But I took my anger out on the dog and I will get a lesson because of that. So you can play this game for laughs if you like, and there are certainly many comic scenarios in this game, but there are some often quite serious questions, and if we click on the body, these are life and death questions, and we don't have to answer all these questions, of course we can take our own path through life. But if we click on the life and death scenario, well, sometimes these lead to an early exit, so you better watch out and you better actually answer these questions correctly and as honestly as possible because some of those well some of those can lead to damage and danger and even an early death and we can die in this game yes this game will expose us to rape child molestation murder drowning and stabbing and we can die in any number of ways including falling off a rooftop and trying to save somebody from drowning we actually drown ourselves so sometimes this game is very deep and this actually got an over 16 rating in America. Yes, over 16s only could play this game because there was sexually explicit content in there and things that could make people actually feel quite disturbed if they weren't all of the best clinical mind. But this game is not a secondary option to gaining psychological help and advice from a trained counsellor or a psychologist. No, what this game is supposed to be is an introduction to life the way you should have played it and we can make all those decisions fairly or unfairly and see what that would have resulted in. In this scenario we have just discovered a matchbox and if we chose to take that to our room and close the door then that would burn the house down and probably us in it. So we are going to be curious, we're going to use those things but we're not going to run away and hide in the corner. No, we're going to check out that pretty deliberately and that saves us playing with matches for the rest of the game. So in these life or death scenarios, sometimes traps can lurk around every corner and just like life, it's very easy to get knocked down by some kind of random life event. And those things, just like marriages and relationships, can be found in this game and we can go through all kinds of divorces and trials and failures as well. But at this stage, it will ask us a few ordinary questions and because this game is Americanized it will give us mostly American questions and some points of this game at this stage will give us a general knowledge quiz and I have no idea the answer to this general knowledge quiz I'm basically making this up luckily the general knowledge questions only amount 5% of the total questions in this game and you may only be able to find maybe two or three instances of general knowledge in the entire game and luckily Activision provided a crib sheet with the original boxed edition and then you can look up some of those answers on a crib sheet but what I didn't realize was The Great Gatsby was written by F. Scott Fitzgerald and I've seen the movie but I didn't remember the name and so that was not correct the rest of the questions are split into mind, which are mental questions, the heart are emotional questions, the shield are situations regarding morality, and the body, as we've seen, is a life or death scenario. We'll also find extra ones later on. In this scenario, we have been confronted by the prospect of lending money and not getting that back. So I tried to discuss this impatiently and say, give me back my money. And all that happened was the bully went away and didn't pay up. So sometimes it can be fair to whisper in somebody's ear and try to get around them that way rather than to use your fists and try to bully your way out of trouble. Our next challenge is to combat thievery in a whole different matter. In this scenario, we are in a store with a friend and he encourages to shoplift. What would you do? 
Well, in this case, we can either answer honestly and urge him to put it back, or we can refuse to stay with him, or we can be dishonest and we can actually steal something together. All these actions will have their own repercussions, so in this case I'm going to be honest and refuse to stay with him, and what happens? Well, the sly dog puts some plain cards in our pockets and calls us the thief and accuses us of stealing, which is terrific, but because we have hiked our skills in certain departments, including honesty, then we get home and our mother actually believes us that we weren't the thief after all, and because of our trustworthiness, we get away with it. So if we weren't trustworthy at this point, we'd probably get grounded for a number of weeks, and anything can happen in this game, just like real life, we'll have to go through rites of passage, and if you notice the guy walking on the road there, that's actually a rite of passage, so if we click on that, let's find out what that would be all about. And yes, we can attempt these questions in any order, and we don't have to answer every single question to complete the level, as long as most of the questions are answered, we can actually skip by the life or death scenarios if we choose. But in this case, the game has offered us the chance to get involved and get ourselves a dirt bike. Well, in this case, I'm going to refuse that offer because I have better things to do. But if you've always fancied driving around on a dirt bike, then this is the best opportunity but be warned, sometimes you might fall off that thing and break your neck, so sometimes even riding around on dirt bikes isn't as fun in this game as it could be. So always watching out for those early deaths, that's how you survive life in this game. Unfortunately, because I've chosen to choose the chicken's way out, that has not credited me emotionally or intellectually, and it says that I'm an avoidant person, and that will reflect on the rest of my life in this game. But I think I'm right, so let's press yes and we can change our mind, but let's stick with our answer and according to this I march to a different beat and in life yes I tend to go my own way and that's what I certainly do. So this game can reflect the person's own ego to a greater or lesser extent, but you may have noticed a sexual content warning and that's because some of these questions may be embarrassing to certain people. I'm certainly not embarrassed to find Playboy magazines in my hands, and I will do what everybody does with that. And this is the male version of this game. The female version is different, and it will have different growing pains, as you can imagine. And at the time, they didn't sell very many of the female versions, because there weren't that many female gamers around at that time, and so that is fairly rare. But you can see the male version is pretty explicit, and... What can we do with a centerfold? Well, we can either destroy the magazine or we can take it out and pin that up on our wall. But if we pin that up on our wall, maybe our mother will be cross and that will get into another situation. So we'll just leave that where it is in the magazine, safe for next time. After perhaps 90% of the questions have been answered, then the game automatically quits the session and provides us with an end of level breakdown as to our progress. It was designed by a psychological professor, so of course they will be in a direct manner associated with our character. In this case, kicking the dog and being a general delinquent in the family life has led to poor relationships, but if we take a look physically, then we shouldn't be too bad, and we can select training and different sports in this game, so we can train our body up physically, and we can even buy a set of weights and train our muscles up, Socially, we aren't doing too bad, except for the fact that we haven't had too much to do with girls at the moment, and that should all change in the next phase of the game. You can see the graphic layout is very simple, and we don't get animation in this game, and there are only a few colours, and you can see the border will change at every phase of our life, and the brown border will be changed to yellow in the next part, but apart from that, the graphics are very basic, and the sound effects are basically a beep every time you press the button and that's all you're going to get in this game. There is no music or anything like that and the presentation is basically what you see is what you get. For a game like this it's not so bad and they could have entered lots more things into this game and made it a proper RPG with animation and that kind of thing. But it's certainly a step up from typing text adventures and the options in this game, there isn't too much to get stuck on or go wrong with, unless you die inadvertently. 
Now that we've completed that section, we can save our progress and we can also check out how far we have got. I'm now currently 13 years old. I am, well, not very calm, unfortunately, but I'm very trustworthy and thoughtful, so that'll do for now. Let's continue and let's move on to adolescence. And in adolescence, it opens with yet another quote from Jonathan Swift. And in adolescence, we get a whole new scenario. Now we get a whole new batch of questions, and you can see plenty of interpersonal questions there. And by checking out these icons, the first icon, HS, that stands for high school, but we cannot enter high school until we are 14 years old, and we aren't 14 years old at the moment, so we'll just have to bide our time and hang around until we are old enough for high school. Let's check out how old we are, 13 years and one month. Again, we can attempt these questions in any order and we have no idea what the question will be because they are selected randomly every time. It just gives us a general theme. The mountain climbing icon will give us a chance to explore new sports and extreme measures and in this case it's introducing me to skydiving. Well, at 13 years old, skydiving probably means jumping off the top of a building or a tall tree and I don't want to risk doing that. So I'm going to stop that and that means I don't have to go through with that random event and I don't have to break my neck skydiving. And interpersonal communication there, unfortunately I'm not old enough yet again to start dating so I can only start dating at 14. So this game does hold the player's hand somewhat and the final one, jobs of course, I'm not old enough to get a job and we can start to gain jobs a little later in the game. Let's skip on further down the line and now we should be old enough to start high school and now we'll get another batch of questions around the high school theme so let's check those out. In this scenario we are given an opportunity of a lifetime, a discount measure and one which we can take advantage of. A guy is selling tickets to the school swimming pool that on the surface sounds like a really great idea. Do we go for that or do we not? Well, in this case we do not go for that because the swimming pool doesn't actually exist in the school and so we will not get any swimming lessons that way. That means some of these questions are obvious to respond to and the player has to guess at some points whether that would be a good or not a good idea. Sometimes they can just fall into traps very easily and particularly when inviting girls around and trying to gain girlfriends in this game sometimes it's difficult particularly when one girlfriend is already seeing another male friend what do you do do you continue that relationship or do you put a stop to that straight away it's a moral dilemma sometimes you can continue and not get beaten up by the ex-boyfriend but sometimes at random you will and sometimes you can be black and blue if you choose the wrong thing so there are certain elements in this game which are random and it will pop up random things so you could suddenly have a heart attack at any point and you could do all kinds of things but you can see clicking on the relationships tab we can choose to start and to stop a relationship at any point we can even go on the date and we can even ask that person to be our partner and to become engaged this game was entirely written and designed by Peach J. Favreau, PhD and he's currently working for Smart Parenting and he has offices in London and New York. He is a very respected PhD and he works with children. So I think Peter did an amazing job designing this and it came out on the DOS platform and the Apple and you can even play this directly online through your web browser because it is an online playable game. It was coded by E.C. Horvath of Unimac Inc. and this was his only game on the Commodore 64. Returning to Alter Ego, we find ourselves in young adulthood, having graduated from adolescence, still in one piece. So he can find extra icons yet again in early adulthood. And among these, marriage, of course, we can get married, we can go to university, and we can have instant personal family relationships but we don't have a family at the moment, we don't have any children, so we don't have any children problems to deal with. You can also see we can buy expensive luxuries, and at this stage we can afford a number of things. 
We have completely at random $500 inheritance from our grandmother. And we can also apply for a personal loan at this stage and to get things on credit as well. And if we can't afford that, then we're going to have to get ourselves a job. But let's continue to buy ourselves a small item of luxury and take a look at those purchases. We can buy a watch, a stereo, sports equipment, a computer, even a boat there. But let's go for the computer and let's see what these guys have on offer. And in this case, we can purchase up to three computers. A 32K computer with a cassette tape drive, a 128K IBM machine, or a new super powerful Amiga with 512K RAM. Wow, let's get that. And let's upgrade ourselves to the Amiga. Now we must find a way to pay for this item and we can buy it on cash or credit. So let's try to get a higher credit rating because we are honest, we are actually given credit in this game and it's available at 20%. So that's not too bad, but now we have a bank account. Now we have money to think about. Now we have girlfriends to think about and weddings and high school and college and making jobs and making a success of our life. And so this once in a lifetime achievement can only be played in this game. And so here we are again, back to the questions. Let's check out our current stats. Let's see how far we've managed to get. And so occupation none at the moment. 19 years old, still not very calm, relatively happy, very confident indeed, and very intelligent and trustworthy. We have also acquired ourselves a computer and somehow gained 4,198 credits in debt. So even before we have our first job, we are thousands in debt. And just like real life, life expects you to struggle on and to make the best of that before you've even started. So let's apply for a part-time job. Let's see what's available. We're going to have to find something in order to keep going and survive. And there isn't possibly a training course opportunity available for us. Well, let's select that and see if there is. If we have been intellectually stimulated in our life, then maybe we are on that road. And unfortunately, we don't have those qualifications. So maybe we're not as middle class as we thought. Let's try that again. And let's try to go for a full-time job. And maybe there's a full-time job available for us. Let's check those out. And it does take some time to load this off the disc. So I'm glad it is on disc and not on tape. And look at all those jobs that we can apply to do but we aren't qualified in any one of those at the moment having not taken on so much as a paper round so far and at this stage this means that all these jobs are therefore unavailable moving on to the scores the 1164 website gave this 86 percent and that's the lowest score i could find c and vg gave this life rpg 90 percent zap eventually gave it 98 percent in the summer of 1986 and your computer gave this 5 out of 5, which is 100%. Julian Rignall in Zap said this game was incredible, compelling, and the author was an absolute genius. He loved the random pool of questions and the fact that this game was very thought-provoking indeed. And this game won the Best Idea of the Year award in 1986. That means Alter Ego is incredible. It's a very unique game, it's very different. It definitely had some controversy when it was released and in America, as I say, it was for over 16s only. There are some questions in there which are quite difficult and with the rape and murder and drowning on offer, you never quite know when you're going to die. According to comments on the Lemming 64 website, many players have never actually completed this game because they've had an early death through one question too many. I think this is an absolute masterpiece and ignoring the fact that it doesn't have virtually any sound effects or any music and the graphics are very primitive, I think the atmosphere in this game is tremendous and one question leads to another. The game can be saved at the end of every period and so there is plenty to return to this game for and every sitting will last probably an hour and a half depending on how long the player takes to answer all these questions. Back on the Commodore 64, you can see I'm trying my best to try and enrol myself 
into a job or a college scenario and for this I'm going to apply for another part-time job and this time let's go for another skilled job delivery boy I'll do for me let's choose that and then hopefully we can get some income rolling in so our qualifications are correct congratulations you start work immediately and continue probably for the next 40 years if you don't feel like doing that you can always get yourself a bank loan and get yourself into as much debt as you can possibly manage and we can also have personal loans and things like that so this game is very deep and it will take the player some time to get through it the questions are difficult but some of those are funny and we can see the RPG elements there really building up our stats so this game is a great RPG, a life sim all of its own and some players actually say that this is better than The Sims basically because we create our own person and we don't have to clean and carry things for that person all we need to do is to get straight on to those major life events and you just never know how life is going to turn out thank you for viewing a play guide and review